Okay, things are a little bit messy here. Uh, I have just received the Baku BK305D power supply, and I was just looking at some of its transient responses. So what we're looking at here is a transient response when I switch the supply from 0 amps to 4 amps. You can see that the little spike that it has is actually quite nicely behaved. That's two microseconds per division. Uh, it drops to 10 volt across the FET, and it drops to almost zero, but comes back up quite quickly. So we're under two microseconds is recovery. There's no spikes, it's not a lot of ringing. It actually does a fairly good job. So I'm somewhat impressed about that. Not totally impressed. It's not the best out there, but uh, it's not too bad good for a cheapo supply and so that you can see what I did uh, here is my supply comes up to about 10 volts that indicator on there they're not overly accurate the voltage supply says 9.9 .9. it I wouldn't expect it to be actually 9.9 .9. uh, then what I did was on my little circuit here, I've got an FET on a heatsink, and it's just going into constant current mode. So I use my little pot on the gate to adjust it to have four amps with a 10 volts across the uh, drain to source. I take a little switch going from common and switch it to my pot voltage, and you'll see the jump in current. So it's doing about 40 watts there of dissipation. I don't like to keep that on too long because I didn't do anything special for the heat sink. And that one would produce a little spike just like that. Now you notice that, and I haven't measured it yet, but the voltage on the input there before I turn it up to 4 amps is somewhat higher than the actual 10 volts that it goes to after it's got a 4 amp um, load on it. And that could just be because it was pretty much unloaded uh, prior and now we're getting it into loaded. I don't, because it goes to 10 volts, I don't think that there's going to be too much of a regulation issue there. Other than that, things to notice. Uh, the supply itself is rather noisy. That fan is on all the time. And if I turn off my supply there, just because I don't like to leave it on. Okay. So you don't get away from that noise. That noise is going to be there always. Uh, I may try and put in a different fan just to quieten it down a little bit. Maybe a bigger fan that can go a little bit slower. Okay, see if we can capture one of these. So here's my event going from zero. Oh, that was going back down to zero. So what you see here is the response when we go back down to zero. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so this is a dead short to zero. Um, one thing that is actually kind of interesting here, when we do short this to zero, there's got to be an inductor in there because you'll see that the voltage goes from 10 volts and spikes and then rings back down and it spikes again and it just keeps going until it dies out. It takes a little longer. So the, uh, the response once you're turning off the current in this system is not very great. You get a lot of ringing on it, you can get spikes on it, and if you're not expecting those spikes, um, they can cause some problems with your circuitry. A little bit of punch through on some digital logic, if you got 5 volts and you turn things off real quick, or you've got a large load and then you turn it off. Uh, something that I have to watch out for with my 
RC servos that'll be pulling a couple amps. So let's see if we get the next one. I'm turn my trigger out this way. Okay, so now I'm going to just put it into four amps again. Oops. Again, ah, there we are. So this time is at one microsecond. You can see the response it has. Zoom that in. All right. Again, you can see the in the inductance in the system. Voltage drops down to a couple of volts, four volts or so, and then comes back up. It's within uh, it's one microsecond, two microseconds, we're, we're pretty close again, three microseconds, and then it just takes a little bit of time out to totally get in. Oh, we're in and out of current here. Well, that's just because my, oh, my FET has uh, overheated. Yeah, and that uh, overcurrent, it, it started to draw more current because the FET was heating up there and my heat sink was getting quite quite hot. Uh, I don't want to touch it. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Uh, probably around 65 degrees or so. It's almost to the point where I can't keep my fingers on it. Alright, so that is the Baku BK305D supply. And, uh, yeah it's all right for an $80 supply. The one thing I will mention again is they shipped me this with a two pronged cord. I replaced that with a three prong cord. I metered out the uh, ground plug, the ground connector on the plug to our earth ground here and they actually are continuous. Um, but otherwise in the two prong plug I believe it's probably connected from the ground pin to the common prong totally not acceptable get a three prong plug put it in 